you're in the early stages of thinking about building an ADU, you've got an interesting choice to make. Do you want to hire a design build firm that does everything all under one roof? Or do you want to hire a designer or an architect that specializes in the design of an ADU, getting, getting an approved permit set, and then hire a general contractor who specializes in building? In this video, we're going to talk about the pros and cons of each approach so you can make a better decision. So first, what is a design build shop? Well, simply put, a design build shop or a design build firm is essentially a one-stop shop. They combine both the design, the permitting, and the building, the construction and construction management, all under one roof. And more specifically, they're responsible for, one, providing a design that is amenable to you or your family that will fit on your property. They're in charge of submitting Building, building permits to the city and getting those approved. Sometimes it takes a few revisions, as well as any other permits required. You can check out separate videos we've done on all the permits required for an ADU build. And then third, construction. They either have their own construction crew in-house or they've got a network of subcontractors that they work with regularly to get your ADU built. When that's all under one roof, that's a design build firm. So I do want to note, whichever approach you choose, it's still the same steps pretty much all the way through the process. There's not that radical of a difference between the two approaches of hiring an all-in-one or hiring a designer and then a builder. Often the, the handoff, which is once approved permits, once, once permits are issued from the city, an architect or designer often will drop off of the project, sometimes entirely, but often they'll stay on in some, some form of sort of construction oversight, or they'll, they'll work with the, uh, the builder to make sure that the designs get implemented correctly. So make sure you ask your, if you're gonna go with two separate companies, make sure you ask your designer if they're gonna stick on beyond issued permits. And in so, if so, in what capacity and at what cost? So in this section, we're gonna talk about some of the pros and cons of hiring that all-in-one design build shop. Some of the pros, come down to synergy and collaboration. When you've got two separate firms, sometimes they can butt heads about issues as big as where does an ADU even, where should it go on the property, all the way down to what type of wood siding did you choose and what's it specified in the designs or does the general contractor have to make a, their dis, you know, discretionary decision on that one. The other thing is you know, an, an ADU designer can sometimes do periodic check-ins in construction when on the construction phase to make sure their design is coming to life in the way that they had envisioned it and worked with you as the homeowner on that design. If they're part of the same firm, this typically happens more often and with less friction. And if they're part of two separate firms, it really depends on whether they've worked together before and what their sort of collaboration style is like. There's often more risk of confrontation between those two parties. Another pro is transparency and communication between the parties. Designers and general contractors need to be able to share their findings, their obstacles at, in the construction phase and even in the design phase. Issues can often be ironed out a little more efficiently if they're within the same company. Another potential advantage of the all-in-one shop is time efficiency. Because they're in the same company, they often, you know, a designer and a, and a builder within the same company often have a better sense of timeline. When do we expect these permits to get approved and therefore how can I stage my construction timeline appropriately so that I can get started way earlier. Another consideration is how many companies are you going to work with here? If you hire one design build shop, you generally have one relationship to manage, one contract to sign. If you hire a design shop, then a build shop, you've got two separate relationships to manage and contracts to sign. Now note this is an area that Maxwell excels in. We've got ADU professionals signed up from across the country, specifically focused in California. That's where the majority of ADU development is happening in the country. And we connect homeowners to these local pros. So if you go to maximalspace.com, input your address, we can connect you with designers, design build shops, and general contractors and prefab companies who deliver and excel at building ADUs in your local area. So we've talked a lot about the reasons you might want to consider hiring a full design build shop all in one. What are some of the cons or the negatives? Well, one might be less flexibility. So if you're looking to hire sort of a, a specific type of designer, you know, a specific design aesthetic, a specific set of experience, sometimes it helps to just go find that designer. Don't worry if they're sort of part of a larger design build firm that can do both. Just go find exactly who you want to do the design with 
and then go find the contractor. So splitting them up allows you to really find the, the exact firm, both on the design side, but also on the build side that specializes in that phase of the project. So if you want to hire the, the superstars and you don't know if you'll always get the superstar combo under one roof, then sometimes breaking it up can be valuable. Another question to ask that full all-in-one design build shop is who's actually doing the design? Sometimes design build firms have a designer or an architect or several on staff, and that can help to have them woven into the entire process, not just stop right once the building permits are issued. On the flip side, some design build shops hire out or subcontract the design portion. And you, you really want to understand what is the case, because if they're subcontracting that out, chances are they're making some margin on it. You could probably go hire that designer directly, and they may not be with you through the course of the whole project, the same that they might be if that person is a full-time employee at the design build shop. Now, there's something to be said for specialization. Companies who proclaim to do it all often do it all, but they all they, maybe they don't do it to the highest level of quality. Sort of like asking a lawyer to file your taxes or a marketing pro to draft a legal document. Sometimes you want a firm that is dedicated solely to design, to architecture, and to working with the cities to get permit set approved. And then a builder who has their, has their company focused around, you know, how do we work with subcontractors efficiently and effectively? How do we build these relationships? You know, how, how, how do, you know what concrete do I choose that, cur that cures in the right amount of time? There's firms that can do it all. And we've seen some great design build firms and there's some great design build partners through Maxible's platform. But we, we often like to see people, you know, companies specialize. And this is a great way to divide the work in getting an ADU project from idea to in your backyard. A few tips as you try to hire the right professionals for your ADU project, whether a design build shop all in one or a design shop and a build shop. One is you want to look for a track record of completing, successfully completing ADU projects. On the design side, that means, you know, hearing clients wants and needs, translating that into a design that can get permitted and that the quotes from general contractors are in line with the homeowner's budget. On the, on the build side, it means that that builder has, has actually gone soup to nuts, built ADUs before. ADUs are not like other small renovation projects, et cetera. It's essentially an entire structure, an entire house built, you know, all in one in a backyard. So number one is track record. Number two is really consistency and communication. Are they really taking the time to listen to your, your unique wants and needs as a homeowner or a property investor? If they are, you know, are, how quickly are they responding to you? Um, what is their style? Is it something you're going to be able to work with and enjoy working with for months and months, maybe even years? So those are a few things that, that we look for as we vet ADU professionals for the Maxible Network. If you want to connect with vetted local ADU professionals, go to MaxibleSpace.com, type in your address, and we'll get you connected.